Welcome to the James and Heather Show. I'm Heather Dawn. And I'm James Gay. And we're here dishing out sex, love, and relationship advice for the queer and straight audience. And anything in between. Exactly. Um, And today we're talking about dating and racial diversity. a controversial big topic it's you know is it sexual preference or is it sexual racism and we have a really amazing talented guest with us today actress and singer tracy toms <laughs> who's currently starring in the new netflix series love the uh, judd apatow series and if you haven't seen it it is by, it's really beyond good. amazing yes. she plays this very powerful woman <laughs> Nothing like a good, strong Leo. Yes. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you, so okay. in case anyone's I'm unfamiliar Tracy. with yes. you. Oh, yeah. For all the, wait, what did, you, what did you just say? That's where we are today. Exactly. Um, uh, I'm Tracy. I'm an actress. Um, I think uh, people come to me with questions like this often because mm. um, a lot of people know me from the movie Rent, where mm. I play not only a lesbian. Her, her, her love. <laughs> he was lesbian. very excited about this, by the way. <laughs> Um, yes, I'm a lesbian in that movie, and I'm also in love with a white woman in that movie. So it's an interracial, homosexual relationship. So it deals mm. with a lot of a lot of, a lot of these, mm. yeah, a lot of isms, <laughs> and a lot of these interests. You know, I mean, I'm corporate, and she's an artist, and so there's um, all of that stuff. So so I talk about this stuff a lot in yeah. my life. Um, so people ask me my opinion on yeah. many of these topics that we're going to forge into which we're very (laughs) excited about exactly which brings us to our first question which is what is preferential Mm -hmm. dating in the first place it's a it's a really good question because on the one end you have sites like asiansingles.com and blackpeoplemeet.com and uh, where whitepeoplemeet.com um you know and people seem to think that uh choosing race is the same as choosing uh oh well i prefer someone who's christian or i prefer someone who's tall or short democrat and you know it's a very (laughs) contentious topic Mm -hmm. and so you know what do you think about uh you know racial being a preference well it's weird because i hear asian people meet or black people meet or asian singles.com i hear those things and i assume that they are there for pe- for black people to meet each other, uh, or for white people to meet each other, for Asian people to meet each other, because uh-huh. when you are a minority in this country, sometimes it's hard to find each other. Right. Um, particularly if you're in the middle no. states. I assume that yeah. these sites are so that people of like right. they races can meet can each meet other. Each other. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think of it as being blackpeoplemeet.com, a place for white women to go and find uh, themselves a black man uh-huh. or for you know any or for white men to go and find themselves an asian woman right 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 i don't think of it in that way but i guess that does make sense mm. if you have that kind of preference mm. mm-hmm. uh if you're that serious about but, your preference but right. if you're not in that uh chosen environment like mm. most of these sites aren't that way the big yeah. popular ones like uh, grinder and mm. match and mm-hmm. eHarmony mm-hmm. um okay cupid mm-hmm. um you know there are things that are going up there that are just like you know whites only or mm-hmm. no blacks or mm-hmm. no asians or they'll say things like no rice to indicate not asians mm-hmm. and they're mm-hmm. actually posting things like this to show their preference mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it's like at what point is that just you being a jerk, <laughs> right? And you're in a multi-ethnic like, racial wow. environment. You're not in a nation exactly. singles or black people or white people meet only or Christian mingle, but you're mm-hmm. in this big hub mm-hmm. uh, where there's all these cultures and religions. And at what point, when you start saying that, are you just a jerk? Well, mm-hmm. you have to figure out, and a lot of people don't want to be honest with themselves about mm-hmm. why they have those preferences or where they came from. I think Hello. that's the problem. Yeah. They just want to say, well, I just have a preference. Mm-hmm. I like tall men. That's a preference. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't actually want to ask themselves the hard questions or mm-hmm. they don't want to tell you mm-hmm. the truth yeah. uh, about what those preferences are, you yeah. know, what, what, they come, what, what they're all about. Right. Um, and there are different ways that we judge preferences. Mm. Like if a black man says, I only want to date white women, of course, as a black woman, I'm going to have a very strong mm. feeling about that. Mm-hmm. But if a white man says he only wants to date black women, I'm mm. like, ooh, yeah, that's a down-ass white boy. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and he's cool. He knows uh, where it's at. Uh-huh. And that's not fair necessarily either. Uh. Um, but when you are a group of people in a country that are an oppressed group. Yeah. Anything that excludes you feels like racism. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and racism doesn't work the other way. This whole reverse mm-hmm. racism doesn't exist. Right. 
Because white people aren't oppressed. Yes. So that's that's, that's what racism is, yeah. right? It is oppressing a group of people based on the color yeah. of your skin. If you can learn to pronounce Schwarzenegger, uh -huh. then, <laughs> then you can learn You're to good. pronounce. I still can't pronounce Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> you can learn how to pronounce it. People work on it though. Like they, they take the time. Yeah, yeah. They take the time. Absolutely. You know, but yeah. they can't take the time to learn Quivenjane, right. which is not hard. Yeah. And you know, and they belittle her all the time. And that's what I love about her because we we did Annie together. Mm. So I got to kidnap her. And Annie, um, and they're just you know. To I see, saw her in that movie. She was fabulous. Thank you. Yeah. Um, to see white people just decide it's not worth taking the time to learn how to say her name. Right. Like I'm just gonna call you Q. Just, mm -hmm. My name is Quivenjane. What we're yeah. asking here again uh -huh. to drive that home today is: is at what point when you're sitting here in a culturally diverse dating uh, scenario, right. mm -hmm. um, at what point are you sexually racist and can a preference be considered racist? Uh, there was mm -hmm. a, a matchmaker who said even though that 55% of her clients aren't white. 90% of them prefer to only date white, gay and straight, her clients. Mm -hmm. And we read another article. And black and white, her clients. Yeah, so oh yeah. The black women and the black men. Correct. For white women and white Correct. Women. And there was a black woman whose uh, blog or, or article I'd read who'd even said she was always looking at the same types, you know, white, brown hair, until one day she's like, why am I only looking at white men? Right. right. You know, and so you start to wonder mm -hmm. um, where that know, comes from. Well, yes. that's the white is right thing. I mean, that's just mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. just the, the, the it's everywhere. That's, that's a white supremacist. Yeah, yeah. You know, if we don't want to systemic. talk about how our society is based on white supremacy, but it just is. Yeah. And as soon as we just say that's what it was, uh -huh. that's what it was based on. Let's look at it. Let's be honest about it. Then we can yeah. start to maybe change our expectations about things. But Absolutely. we can't do it unless we get honest. Yeah. We have to get really brutally honest with well, and that's each other with ourselves. ourselves too, yeah, right? people get very defensive exactly. about it. If you want to talk about white privilege or yeah. or white supremacy, they get defensive right. because right. somehow. They feel like we're saying that your life was easy, mm -hmm. or you didn't struggle, or you're a racist. Right. And it's like, that's not what that means. What that yeah. means is if you had all the hardships that you have that you're claiming, mm -hmm. add black to it, mm -hmm. it would be worse. Yeah. Add black that's to what it. we're Hello. saying. Yeah. I yeah, was yeah. poor, nobody gave me anything. Okay, what if you were poor Good and point. black? Would you choose to be poor and black? No. Right. You wouldn't choose to be poor and black because you know you'd be fucked. Yeah. You'd be yeah. way worse off. And you can't, you know, if you're poor and black, if you're poor and white, mm. somebody gives you a million dollars, mm. now you're the top 1%. Right. Yeah. You know, now you can do anything. Yeah. If yeah. you are poor and black, someone gives you a million dollars, you're still black. Right, right. And you still will get pulled over. Yeah. And you still will be incarcerated four times, mm -hmm. uh, white people, for the same crime. Absolutely. You know, and I wonder, too, because, uh -huh. um, you know, it's not just in the heterosexual community that oh, this happens. This yeah. happens, and there was that big article that came out, I think, yeah, just yeah. this past summer, actually. It was. It was a, a researcher that looked at Australian gay men, and pervasively, there is a ton of, it's not just Australia, there is a ton of racism, let's include sexism in there as well, among gay men uh, that, you know, feel like, because we've been oppressed, you know, for our sexuality, that we get to have the freedom to say whatever we want about whatever we prefer. And it's, yeah, you're still, you know, and you still get, you get white male privileges. Absolutely. Even if you're gay, you absolutely. know, it depends on, yeah. and you can, you can choose how out you want to be or mm -hmm. not in any mm -hmm. given circumstance. I mean, yep. some people can hide it easier than others, obviously, but right. you know, there's no, I can't butch up and not be black. Exactly. Exactly. There's no, but there's no, there's no passing. Yeah. I can't pass. You can <laughs> pass true. if you wanted to. You made yeah. a choice to do it. Not that I think you should. Not that I think anybody should. Right. right but right. to save your own life. Uh, exactly. You yeah. could do it. Exactly. And that's, and that's the only reason why you would. There's privilege that comes with that, yeah. right? Yeah. That's the only reason you would, but either to save your life or your livelihood or your, mm -hmm. or, or your life, you know, or to make yourself feel safe. Right. Right. That's the only reason you would hide yeah. who you are. Yeah. So it's unfortunate. And you have you know, the choice. Oppressed... You have the option to be able to do it if you need to. Right. Exactly. I, I don't. Exactly. I completely agree with you. It's it's the type of thing where it's like just because we're an oppressed minority as gay men doesn't mean that we then don't oppress other minorities within our community or outside of our community. So again, sexism is also rampant where, you know, they'll on dating sites say things like no femmes. We don't want anyone that acts like a woman because that's seen as less than. You know, it's it's those kinds of things. Devaluing like sometimes bigotry begets bigotry. Mm -hmm. and it's not a barter system, right? Right. You know, You'd right. hope we'd be more compassionate, more aware, more yeah. self-aware of what's True. going on. But often we're it's not. It's difficult because when you are an oppressed person mm -hmm. and, and an oppressed community, when you see someone in your community dating mm -hmm. outside of your race, mm -hmm. particularly dating 
the race of the of the people who are oppressing you. Hello. It becomes a very complicated thing. Okay. It's historically mm -hmm. in our community, it's historically painful. Yeah. Um, the whole idea of um, you know, on the one hand, you had the 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 the, the slave owners mm. raping mm -hmm. the slaves, mm -hmm. and it wasn't called rape. It wasn't considered rape at all. It was just well, like, they were acquired right. property. Yeah, yeah, you're right. my pro you're my possession. You're my possession. So I can yeah. do whatever I want to with you, mm -hmm. and so that emasculated the men in mm -hmm. a way they could not protect their women. So mm -hmm. the black men, you know, have that has have that legacy mm -hmm. of emasculation with that, mm -hmm. um, and then the whole idea of the brute Negro mm -hmm. that you still see in mm -hmm. film and TV and everywhere. It's very per pervasive of the of the black man who just wants a white woman, just wants mm -hmm. to rape white women, mm -hmm. and the 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 excuse of Oh, that black man raped that white woman, or or that black man looked at that white woman mm -hmm. wrong, has resulted in leveling of entire towns of black ah, people. Absolutely. Just because the white woman is the prize, yeah. and the white men fear that the black men are just trying to take their women, yeah. so they use yeah. this as an excuse. You know, Emmett mm -hmm. Till was killed for apparently whistling at a white woman, mm. fourteen-year-old kid. Wow. Killed, Ugh. and no one ever paid for it. Yeah, yeah. They knew who did it. Right. The people who did it weren't even upset about it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they beat him to death, tied him to like Awful. a fan, and threw him in the water, oh, threw oh, him in the river, oh, for whistling at a white woman because a white oh. woman is pristine and cannot be spoiled right. by the black man. Yeah. So there's a there's a, a backlash against that with some mm -hmm. black men in mm. historically that have been like the trophy mm. is a white woman. Once mm. I reach a certain mm -hmm. level of uh, success, <laughs> right? It's you like know, I go out and get myself a white girl, and that's the thing. It's like, oh, yeah. you, oh, you got money now. You got, now you can get yourself a white girl, yeah. and we feel that, uh -huh. and all of a sudden we aren't good enough. Right. So when black women get upset at white at black men for having yeah. white women, it comes with all of that history of pain, yeah, absolutely. of not being good enough, and we yeah. see it time and time again of yeah. black men becoming successful right. and leaving their black women behind uh -huh. and getting a white woman, and they yeah. won't even think of it that way. Some of them do on purpose. Some of them right. don't think of it that way. They're like, well, that was just who I fell in love with, and mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and you. You know, my, my, I still love my black woman, but we mm -hmm. grew apart. And the black woman's like, I supported you all these years. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know, yeah. and that's that gold the, that gold digger song that Kanye West has that lyric, like, you uh -huh. know, he'll leave you ass for a white girl. You know, whatever. Yeah. This is a thing. Right. Yeah. You know, and black men get upset when they see black women with white men, too. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the other way around, it's just, it, it, it just brings up... Mm you know, so much history. Mm -hmm. Like I was on the elevator in Canada, because Canada is different, it's a whole different world. <laughs> it is a whole different <laughs> world. <laughs> I was on the elevator in Canada, yeah. um, and I was working on this really racial piece at the time. And I was mm. there like, who to do? And this black man, this white woman walked on the elevator, and yeah. they were just completely into each other, uh -huh. and kissing and making out, and, and I, 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 I felt myself tense. Uh, yeah. Interesting. I was like, and, and then I was like, why am I, like I could look at it, and I was being very honest with myself. Like, why can't I just look at it and go, "Oh, that's nice." Uh, were you in a relationship like, at that time, or no. not in a relationship? Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was just like, mm -hmm. "Why am I feeling mm. mad yeah. at her?" Yeah, yeah. Like she took something from me. Right. I don't know that dude. Right. She didn't take nothing from me. Yeah. Good for them. Right. You know, and then, yeah. but I had to confront that. But it's related to all these things that you just talked yeah. about. It, no, it's not just yeah. fetishism in our right. community. Right. Exactly. It's a history of like. That has caused death and destruction. Yeah, yeah. For uh -huh. our people, uh -huh. black men and white women. Even if uh -huh. the thought of a black man being mm. with a white woman. Mm. You know, and, and mm -hmm. even as you're talking about this, and if we even took for a moment and you put race aside and we were just look at women, and we were mm -hmm. talking about this in our last episode with yeah. the monogamy mm -hmm. and polygamy, mm -hmm. um, you know, women were acquired property for like ever, mm -hmm. like in general. When you right. remember, we were going back to biblical times mm -hmm. where Solomon had like 700 wives, and then. Mm -hmm. Women were even used as um, incentives to, yeah. yes, to get people like, mm -hmm. you know, so even if it's like for women, it's extra, especially mm -hmm. as sensitive because mm -hmm. A, as a woman, we were oppressed right. mm -hmm. and, you know, really didn't start getting rights until, I mean, even in the 19th century, we were still having issues. Right. We mm -hmm. were essentially mm -hmm. receptacles for sperm, right. Right. you know, I mean, right. yeah. women were treated. And we talked about that for breeders. this. Yeah. Breeders. <laughs> breeders. <laughs> they didn't think wow. women could have orgasms right. yeah. in the 19th century. Yeah. I mean, so now you add race on top of that and again it's sort of what you had said earlier oh you're poor you struggled now add black to that right yeah. right and you know? add woman to that intersectionality yeah. is what we want to talk about with that hello a yeah. massage noir is what we want to talk about <laughs> right it's black misogyny see yeah. this is that's very serious <laughs> it's yeah. very complicated yeah um there's a lot of levels so people to just it. want to say well it's just a preference and, and, mm -hmm. and that's okay but mm -hmm. um 
but when your preference is your oppressor. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Do you know what I mean? It's, well, a, it, it's a different, like... Yeah. And this is uh, the thing. It's like, even if... Like, let's just say for the sake of argument that it is a preference. I don't believe it is. But let's just say that it is. The way that you go about communicating it to the people that are the oppressed how minority, how you say it, is like... Is it- it's damage you really have to hurt upon someone's feelings? damage, you right. know? It's sort of like... like you're, you're just, nobody wants you. As black women, yeah. we're always like, nobody wants us. Yeah. You know, and I always had this issue um, in TV and film where mm. I went through a long period of time where I, my love interest, if I had a love interest, was always white. Mm. Huh. Um, Interesting. And mm-hmm. I, would, I would be like, why? You why? know, yeah. why? Yeah. So when I was doing uh, Cold Case, they wanted me to have a it was a very complicated thing with like my, my, I had a kid mm. and the baby daddy and whatever mm. they wanted him to be like mm. this horrible person I said how about mm. we do this mm. how about you make me the horrible person mm. Mm. like make mm-hmm. him okay make mm-hmm. him good mm-hmm. make it put it on me because mm. I'm not interested in demonizing black men anymore because uh, the images we keep seeing of black men on TV yeah, yeah. and film are that they're criminals yeah. and they're bad people and yeah. they're innately criminal and innately violent and that's what we keep hearing right um, so so I fought and fought and fought. I'm like, please, mm. can I have a black love interest? Because yeah. what this is telling everybody yeah. is that me as a successful black woman, because I, I tend to play professional black women. Uh-huh. Um, You're very strong as a person. Yeah. Well, yeah. So <laughs> I tend to play these professional, like cops and yeah. lawyers and, yeah. you know. Uh-huh. Um, corporate. Uh-huh. Corporate people. Um, if I, it, what I'm telling the, the world by me having a, a white partner is mm. that the black people, whether it be male or female, are not mm. good enough for me. Mm. I said, I don't want to perpetuate that at all. Mm-hmm. And, no, and they were thinking they were being open-minded by having right. it be an interracial relationship. Oh, I don't know, this is, the, this is pervasive at this point, yeah. because I have never had a black man right. Um, right. partner yeah. on wow. any of my projects. At well, the time, I have since, but it was a thing for a minute. I'm like, I need yeah. a black, can you find me a black Skips man? to an important question. And then they, then yeah. they still did. They still paired me up with a white dude. But it was because that happened organically. Our chemistry was really good on, uh, on screen. Yeah, it just kind of yeah. happened. Sure. But I was like, please find me a black man. Please, yeah. please find me a brother. Yeah. yeah. And please let him not be yeah. a cheater or uh-huh. a liar or, right. or, thug. Right. or yeah. a thug or yeah. whatever. Just or a can we stop? Yeah. Can yeah. we stop these? Can uh-huh. we stop it? And it's a, mm-hmm. it's, it's so pervasive. It's yeah. so easy to go there. Oh, yeah. It's just well, right and there. And that's part of what influences us unconsciously or otherwise right. to have these preferences in the first place, right? right? So Hollywood. You know, magazines, all this, like you said, it's systemic. It's mm-hmm. institutional. And it tells you the, 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 the prize uh-huh. is we- the white woman or the white man is the prize. And this right. is what we're getting all the time. Right. Um, and that seeps in. I was mm. asking a, a friend of mine before this uh, who was a dude, a black man. Mm. And I was like, well, black man won't talk to me about it. So what do you, mm. so what do you hear? Mm-hmm. And he says, I don't know. I think it's just we, it's what we see all the time as, no. as what's beautiful. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What this is see, what, yes. What, we, what comes... As we're children, yeah, you know, we're that's seeing the question I have for you. Blonde, skinny, mm-hmm. Barbie, whatever. This is beauty. Well, right. Barbie just came out with. I know, I love it. <laughs> with love it. Chubby right. Barb, chubby-ish Barb, Barbie, Barbie. Curvy Barbie. Curvy yeah. Barbie yeah. Uh, some different Curvy colors. Barbie. They're still all stunning and Petite beautiful. Barbie. Nobody has any pimples. They got to work on Ken a little yeah. bit now. Too. They're, yeah. they're different yeah. colors. You know, there's yeah. like tan Barbie now. Yeah, yeah. And different hair textures. It's, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, and I wish I had those Barbies when I was a kid because yeah. you know uh, studies show that kids who have Barbies uh-huh. who play with Barbies um, are more concerned with being skinny at a younger age mm-hmm. than mm-hmm. little girls who didn't play with Barbies. I want to ask you about this because as we know, there's a big issue obviously that's been raised again and again and again and again uh, now that we're around mm-hmm. Os- Oscar time uh, about Hollywood oh. casting um, you know, minorities and mm-hmm. only 10% of minorities get cast in leading roles. Mm-hmm. And there's this study that shows what we're uh, given socially, and this is sort of what you were just talking about, mm-hmm. influences uh, what we are attracted to or what we would say, well, I just prefer black men or I just mm-hmm. prefer that when you have, um, well, I can't help it, I'm just attracted to that type of person, Mm -hmm. you know, yes and no, you might be able to help it. Mm -hmm. Because uh, there's a study that shows that social influence as well as location and geography affects. And so with Hollywood Mm -hmm. only casting 10% of minorities, do you think that this has affected a lot of what's going on? Absolutely. It's Mm -hmm. really funny because like for the longest time, people say, oh my God, you know, we have Will Smith or Denzel Mm -hmm. Washington or whatever. So, but Will Smith or Denzel Washington, could never have 
black women partners mm -hmm. on, on the movies for the longest mm -hmm. time. And they would right. fight, like, can, can my wife be, or like can you, my love interest right? yeah. in the movie, not my wife necessarily, but like right. the other person yeah. who I'm, I'm having sexual chemistry with, yeah. the, the will I, right. won't I, will right. they, or won't they get together? And they're like, no, no. Yeah. They're like, what do you mean? Yeah. It's like, it doesn't even occur to them yeah. that the, the, the opposite person uh -huh. could be another black woman. And they had to fight and fight and fight. You, yeah. you know, you look at Will Smith and like I Robot and all these movies he was doing. It's always a white woman. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Right. right. You know, and he yeah. would fight, and they would not. Yeah. They would not allow it. Well, in all these movies that actually historically are not white characters being played oh, by Washington, white yeah. actors. I'm just and glad the God of Egypt is tanking. Yeah. Because yeah. It's, I'm, Hello? I'm really happy about that because <laughs> right. another white actor. <laughs> I don't want to uh, wish uh, anybody. No, any personal. It's not personal. But, yeah. but, the, but the idea that you got what? Well, maybe. How personal. dare you? Yeah. <laughs> how dare you? Yeah. Think that it's just fine. Yeah. Sure, we'll we'll cast an entire movie of Egyptian people and make the white people the Egyptians right. and the black people the slaves. Yeah. That's perfectly okay. Totally. And then when and then up. when you're when, when when they're confronted with why they would do that, it's like, well, mm. I just didn't want it to distract from the story. Uh, <laughs> you mean the Adam being called? So that didn't. Oh, that's a distraction. <laughs> yeah. well, I think white they people they playing Egyptian. They don't want, they don't want race to be an issue. Well, guess what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, a little too late. They fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Well, the same thing, Prince of Persia, right? Yeah. Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal played mm -hmm. a, a Persian prince, and then uh, Johnny Depp in Lone Ranger, Lone Ranger played a Native played American. American. <laughs> he was like, I'm like one eight, eight million. I'm one eight million. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. And then um, something that surprised me too, Hunger Games, I didn't realize that the lead actress was uh, ethnic. That, yeah. That they actually she cast- olive skin. Yeah. Uh, Katniss, yeah. And people got so upset that like, Rue was black. I'm uh, like, Rue is black in the book. Right, <laughs> right. You know, the, book, the they book, don't, they don't have races. They don't have our ideas of racism, yeah. of yeah. Caucasian or African. Or a black man yeah. in Star Wars, right? Like, oh, I was like, like yay, yeah, finally. And it, it was absurd. It How was dare so you bizarre to hear all the backlash Storm with that. Stormtroopers have costumes oh, on. Yeah. You don't know what the color of stormtroopers <laughs> were. Right. Stormtroopers have white costumes on. <laughs> I, just yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah. They could look like anybody. <laughs> Just because they're white me? on, yeah. <laughs> I Same. mean, and, but then you make Annie black, and the people lose their mind. Uh, Annie's uh, not a real person, right? It's a character. You know, she's a character, screen. and she could be anything. And then there is a theory that Annie originally, the original, uh, back in the twenties, yeah, yeah, yeah. the the original idea of her was black. I don't know uh, if that's true or not. Yeah.